Hello and welcome to Sports Fan Entertainment. It's time for another scouting report for the 2017 NFL Draft. And today we're talking about quarterback Patrick Mahomes II out of Texas Tech. And again, I found a quarterback in this 2017 NFL Draft class of whom there is a lot to like about. Patrick Mahomes has some nice traits that could translate to the next level. Let's talk about it. So let's start with his size, 6'3", 230 pounds. And that is a good size for a quarterback. And he's even setting at, I would say, 6'3 and a half, maybe even 6'4. He definitely looks definitively over 6'3, so you like that. A 230 is a good size. Uh, you know, that would indicate he could be durable, although I think there is not much to that. I mean, Ben Roethlisberger is huge, and he gets injured all the time. But still, that's a good weight to have. And if anything, I think, I think he could lose probably five pounds because he looks a little pudgy to me. Not a big deal, but anyway. Look at his 2016 stats okay bunch of stats here over 5,000 passing yards 65 percent completion percentage 41 touchdowns and 10 interceptions he was playing in that air raid offense for Texas Tech and you can see the results of that over 5,000 passing yards is incredible for a college season or really any season uh, in professional or college sports and playing football it's incredible uh, you look at his projected 40 time I went with the 4-8 um, I think he's going to run about this. I think he's just about as athletic as Dak Prescott when it comes to straight line speed. He could be a little above this, maybe a little below, but I like this number. We look at his strengths, okay? Number one is his arm strength and overall just his arm talent, okay? The guy can make any throw on the football field relatively, okay? He's not going to throw it 80 yards down the field, but boy, he'll throw it 70, okay? He can throw sideline throws, throw deep throws, go routes, corner routes. It doesn't matter matter he can make the throws necessary to in the NFL to have success for years to come you love his arm talent I think by far he has the best arm in this class I think Deshaun Kaiser is number two but Patrick Mahomes is definitively number one when it comes to that area and also his accuracy. He has generally good accuracy. When his mechanics are on point, this is a guy that can really throw the football and throw dimes across the entire football field, short, intermediate, deep, left sideline, right sideline, in the middle, doesn't matter. When he is sound mechanically, he has very good accuracy. When we look, when we look at his weaknesses, I'm not in love with his ability to read the field. Um, I don't see him go through too many progressions. He does do it from time to time. But let's say out of 10 throws, I'll only see him move to progression three or four, maybe 30% of the time, which isn't very high, especially when I just watched Mr. Bisky or Sean Kaiser do it a lot more often than he does it. So that concerns me a little bit. And also kind of tying into that is his decision making. He can make some just straight up bad decisions, okay? Throwing the ball where he shouldn't, when he shouldn't, and throwing some interceptions when he shouldn't. And really, you should never do it, okay? And he does that from time to time, and that is a little worrisome. He cannot see some linebackers from time to time or think that he can fit a ball in and not do, uh, and not be able to successfully do that, and that concerns you. Uh, but the number one problem with Mahomes, I think everyone can agree with, is his mechanics. Now, let me tell you about mechanics. My thing is, I really don't care how bad your mechanics are as long as they're consistent. We look at Philip Rivers, okay? That guy has the weirdest throwing motion in the NFL, period. The guy is a hell of a quarterback. The thing is, he has the same throwing motion time and time and time again. It doesn't change. I don't care how you throw the football. I want you to get it out pretty quick, but as long as you do that, I don't care if you're throwing it sidearm, throwing it underarm. I really don't care. Is it getting to where it needs to be, and ultimately, are you producing well? That's all I care about, Philip Rivers. Uh, the thing is with Mahomes is his mechanics are just so inconsistent, specifically his footwork. Okay, he'll throw from a wide base, from a narrow base. He'll throw with one foot ahead, with uh, his feet right close together. Um, and then sometimes he'll be rolling out to his left, and his mechanics just get a little wonky. Rolling out to his right, and the mechanics get a little wonky. His throwing motion changes from throw to throw. And that's what bothers me, because I do see some inaccuracy creep up whenever that happens. Again, if you're throwing one way, it's weird way, but it's consistently getting to where it needs to be, I don't care. But when your mechanics are consistently changing, and I see inconsistency there, and then I see it having an effect on your throws, 
that is where I have a problem, and that is my problem with Patrick Mahomes. Really, everyone's problem with Patrick Mahomes right now as a passer. Now, you can work on this to some extent, but he has a baseball background, and his father does as well. And you can see that being already just so integrated and ingratiated in his being at this point and you wonder if he's, if he's ever going to be able to get out of those type of things it worries you when it comes to his projections in the next level so we look at his pro comparison okay so i compare him to two guys matthew stafford and jay Cutler, two nfc north quarterbacks both with huge arms strong arms uh, both having some mechanical flaws from time to time and having some decision-making problems. Now, Stafford has actually progressed in his career unlike Jay Cutler, so you hope he's going to be more like Stafford than Jay Cutler. We move on to the next slide, his best fits. I would really like him in Arizona. I think him in a Bruce Arians offense under the toolage of Bruce Arians, I think he could really improve and fix a lot of his mechanical issues and really flourish under that Cardinals offense. The Houston Texans with Bill O'Brien, with DeAndre Hopkins and Will Fuller as his wide receivers. I think he could really flourish there. The Cleveland Browns. Um, I think this would be an interesting fit. Again, they have Terrell Pryor. They have Corey Coleman, two wide receivers that can win deep. Uh, so I like that fit there. In the Hugh Jackson offense, I would like for him to be, again, more mechanically sound, but I think he could fit there as well. Kyle Shanahan. Again, he's generally accurate, Mahomes is. So, you know, under that Kyle Shanahan offense, he could have a lot of success. And then the New York Jets, who, I mean, I put them there. Again, I don't know if the Jets are running offensively. I don't think anyone does, um, but I think it'd be an okay fit there as well. So when we look at a prospect grade, I give him a grade of 82. And this translates to a below average starter or a high quality backup. But do keep in mind, this grade is only one point away from that average and definitive starter range. And what I really want to see from Mahomes is I really want to see his combine, his pro day, and just this draft process from him. If I can see more consistent mechanics from him, if he goes to the combine and looks very sound, he looks like the best quarterback there, he's going to bump up a couple points to me. Uh, but I need to see more of that. And also, I didn't include this in the weaknesses earlier, but I want to hear him on the board. I want to see him on the chalkboard talking some of the NFL lingo that he's going to have to talk and see how ready he is for the next level because, you know, under that Texas Tech air raid offense, they didn't have too many uh, pro style plays and sort of schemes that they were running. It was a lot of trickeration, um, just a lot of stuff that he won't be running in the next. I would really like to see Patrick Mahomes on the chalkboard, uh, you know, running up or drawing up some plays, talking to Steve Mariucci or John Gruner or whatever, and getting into his mind. Um, as a scout on YouTube, I can't really do that. I'm sure NFL teams will do plenty of that. So whatever information I can get about that will also affect this grade. Um, but there's a lot of things to like about Patrick Mahomes, specifically, again, his arm strength, his arm talent, and his accuracy when he's mechanically sound. So to conclude, with elite arm strength and a gunslinger mentality, Patrick Mahomes II possesses huge upside, and he really does. But his transition to the NFL could be very rocky. He could never recover from a poor start. Uh, basically, what I'm saying here is... I think if you can get him off to a good start, he's going to be ready to go uh, because he's only going to improve to me. But some, I think there's also a huge chance, though, that he really has a hard time getting started, getting going in the NFL, and he never really catches fire, uh, never really improves because he was never really able to get into the NFL and have a strong base. Right, so if you can, if you start him out well, you know, bench him for at least I'd say half the season, or hopefully the entire season if you can. Uh, really fix his issues and then get him out to a hot start. I think he's going to be a starter for years to come. But if you, you know, throw him out there when he's too uh, premature, when it's too early, I think he's going to struggle a little bit, and you're going to see Patrick Mahomes unfortunately flame him out relatively early in his NFL career. So there you go. Those are my thoughts on Patrick Mahomes, the second, the quarterback out of Texas Tech. What are your thoughts? Comment down below. I want to know. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, to subscribe. This has been Sports Fan Entertainment Scouting Report, and until next time, I'm out. Peace.